So I'm going to give you a quick demo of buckets, um, which is a concept we built at Textile to make it easier to um, persist and manage directories on IPFS. Um, it does multi-protocol publishing, so you get IPNS, IPFS, um, uh, HTTP. It does a lot of really cool things with diffing of your data changes before it's moving around on the web. Um, we'll have a cool blog post about that coming out soon. You can read a bunch more about it on our docs site. I think really kind of neat is I'll show you something at the end here, which is that it has a JavaScript library. So you can go and find out how to use um, buckets from JavaScript applications as well. Uh, so you can let users essentially of your applications store folders and directories um, on IPFS off of the browser, off of their device. So more on that in a second. But first, I just want to show you uh, what happens when they're in action. So um, this is the hubs CLI. So if I just do, um, let me just show you from the beginning. So basically, I'm going to log in. Uh, my username is astronaut. Um, so it just it sent me an email. So let me just check my phone here. Wait for a second for this confirmation link. Um, and when I get that, I should be able to click it, and it will let me through um, the terminal here. And then I'm going to give you a little demo of um, pushing uh, directory up to up to the hub. Okay, there it is. So click that. Um, okay, so now I'm in. Um, so I can now start making buckets. So uh, if I go hub buckets uh, help uh, help. You can kind of see everything there. I'm just going to blast through this really fast. So the first thing I want to do is I'm in a folder that has a website in it that I want to push up to a bucket. So I'm going to do hub um, buckets uh, in it. Uh, ooh, uh, no S. Or you can go with the short, which is this buck. Um, so let's call this uh, docs demo. And Buckets run on threads, which is our database protocol. Uh, you can read more about that on our docs too. You don't have to know much about it to use threads. I'll just use a thread I already have to run this bucket on. And you can see I get a bunch of links already. So this is that multi-protocol bit. Um, I can go to the hub gateway, take a look at this. Um, and you'll see, you'll see that there's not much in it yet. It's just a seed so that it gets a new hash. Um, not too exciting. But now I'm going to do hub bucket push and it's going to ask if I want to push that whole website that's in that direct in this directory and I'm going to go sure and you'll see it's it's creating hashes for all of those it's creating this DAG folder if I go and change this directory in the future I can push it again and it will do the diffing locally and and push it to this remote IPFS peer when this is done I can do hub bucket links and get a bunch of different links for this folder one of which is the IPNS link, which I can then go and load on any gateway or share with anybody so they can always get the latest version of this bucket that I'm pushing online all over the place. So let me show you that, hub bucket links. Um, and you can see here's an IPNS link, for example. Um, and we can go, we'll go open this up and we should see uh, the website. Okay, moving super fast here, um, but you get the idea. So this also, there's also a, an HTTP URL that is compatible with this IPNS address. So if I go to um, there, I can just render the web page. And you'll see that the web page that was in my folder is actually our documentation web page. So our documentation is all over IPFS now. Um, let me show you one last thing, which is super cool. This is using the JavaScript library. So I have a little React Native application that inside of it is going to use a a uh, private key identity for the user in the phone. Uh, it's going to take that identity. It's going to um, uh, create uh, an instance on the hub based on my developer account. Uh, and it's going to create a new bucket for the user. So I'll just go ahead and refresh this application really quick, and it'll go through these steps. This demo app is on our doc site. So you can, it, you can just pick it apart and look at each of these um, sort of six, five or six steps. OK, so it's going to create this little private key identity. It creates a thread puts a collection in the thread. This is all just demo stuff if you're learning, so you can go through and see this stuff. But the last thing it does is it creates a bucket using that bucket JavaScript um, library. So here I can just create a website. I didn't make a big form where you can do any fancy website. I just have a stub website where I can give it a new title. So uh, uh, 
I'll just do, you know, awesome demo of buckets on IPNS. And so um, if I go ahead and submit that, it's going to create a new bucket, um, push the bucket to IP IPFS, and it's going to generate this custom IPNS link for the user. You know, it has all those links I showed you in the command line. So if I go ahead and click that, it's going to go right to the browser um, on the gateway showing you this IPNS link live. Uh, let's see if that all works. So that's the same URL I showed you before in the CLI demo uh, with this running. Um, and there you go. So you see I had sort of like a nice uh, stubbed in website there, but my new title is there. And I don't remember how cut and paste works out of the simulator, but let's go ahead and, and try that. Um, nope, that's my, that's my uh, GIF recording in case this failed. Um, yeah, I don't remember how it works. Anyway, that's it. Any questions? So this is running an embedded JS IPFS node, question mark? No, so this is using the, uh, well, so this uses the threads protocol to then push it to a remote node. Because uh, one of the things that we discovered, especially on mobile, when you want to share things like this, is you really don't want to be trying to serve it off of the mobile device. You really want to push it as quickly as you can to a more uh, static site. So this this is using one of the hub, uh, one of the hub APIs to push it to a remote IPFS node, which in the near future will be um, allowing you to do things like store it on Filecoin. And um, you can uh, the thread is owned by the user though, so they could actually take that thread and push it to any any other place that they want. So they could replicate it on their own desktop or other servers or or however they want. But yeah, this makes it so that I can go in my own browser now and. Um, and grab this URL, or I could share this URL over an email or whatever and close my phone and people could still get it quite quite easily.